Hello, today we're going to set up the new Orion 200i. It comes in two boxes. So here's the microscope arm box. Let's open this up. This here is your accessories box. And this is the microscope and microscope arm. After you remove the microscope arm from the box, you'll have a zip tie that you'll need to cut. And this will release the arm so that it can open up. So you cut that off and then the arm will open up like this. Okay, so here are all the accessories from the accessories box. Um, included in that box are your accessories for mounting the arm to the table. There's three ways to do that and we're gonna show you all three right now. The first one I wanna show you is mounting with a through hole. So these are the parts for mounting with a through hole. What you need to do is run the bolt through this plate here uh, keeping the indented area on the outside and then we're going to attach the plate to the bottom of the arm. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll drill a hole in your table and then you'll slide the bolt down into the hole. Then you go to the bottom of the table and you put on the washer and in this bag, you will find your lock nut. Okay, so the second option for mounting to the table, we're going to use this plate here. And just like the other option, you're going to mount it to the bottom of your arm like this. And then what you can do is you can drill screws through these holes here and mount it to the side of your bench. The third method for mounting your arm to the table is using the clamp method. And the way to do that is attaching the plate like we did on the side of the table mount and then connecting this clamp to the plate. This is probably the most popular option and what most people will use. So let me show you how to do that. So we have this on and now you'll notice there's three holes here and you have two holes on the clamp part. Uh, where you position this depends on how thick your table is. So if you have a thinner table like mine right here, I have to actually mount it to the top two holes or else my clamp won't tighten enough to, to clamp onto my table. If you have a thicker table, then you'll mount the clamp to the bottom two holes here and then that way it gives you more room to fit the thickness of the table in here so that then you can clamp it on. Okay, so we have the clamp mounted to the arm, and now we are going to clamp it to the table. So you place it on like that, and then just turn the dial underneath until it's tight. So we have the microscope arm mounted to the table. Now we're going to move back to the other box, which has our power supply and our screen in it. Okay, so here's our power supply, our screen. Make sure to take off the screen protector when you begin. And this is a mount for the power supply to sit on. Um, just remember when you're taking the power supply out of the box, it's very heavy, so be prepared for that when it comes to that time. You have two holes on the bottom, and those holes line up with this mounting plate. The way I like to put it on is like this. The base plate has a slant to it, um, a slope to it, and so you want to put the higher sloped side in the front of the machine so you can have that up. So now we want to mount the screen 
to the microscope arm. So we need to undo the plastic here. The cool thing about the screen is it has a quick, quick connect right here on the back. So what we're going to do is actually slide this down in at the top of the mount. It's very easy. Just pull back on this and slide it in. After you put the screen on the arm, the arm will probably drop down. And so what we need to do is tighten up the gas spring inside the arm. So key thing to remember is have the arm parallel to your table like this, and then the plus direction is to go counterclockwise, and that'll stiffen up the arm. So we're just going to do start off with one complete turn. That helped a little, but let's keep going. Do another turn. And now that arm is holding up the, the screen without falling down. So that's what you want to do. You can adjust that as needed. Okay, so now we're going to move to the back of the power supply and the back of our touch screen display. Um, so let's get started with the RJ45 connection. This is uh, running from the back of the screen to the actual microscope. You may have to move the microscope up or down um, in order to start this process so that it's a little bit easier to connect. As you can see here, this cable has a straight part at the top and kind of a curved part at the bottom. The curved part is what goes into the, microsp the microscope. Um, so you want to run this up through the top just to kind of have some cable management uh, and then stick the RJ45 into the microscope shutter like so and then you can run this to the back like that and that is what gives you your eye protection so that when the welder is welding you get the shutter for full protection on the eyes. Um, next we have the display port. Um, these are really nice connections here. Uh, you just line it up with the way the groove is set up and the nice thing about the display port is you actually once you put it in it, it won't come out unless you push the release button. So just remember when you are taking them out that you push the release button um, so that it comes out without breaking the, the part. So last thing you have here on the back of the touch screen is an SD card slot. Um, the Orion i-series welder you're able to update by Wi-Fi but if for some reason your location does not have Wi-Fi you can download updates um, from either an email we send you uh, or however you're, the, the website or wherever you get the, the update and you can put that on an SD card and when you plug the SD card into this slot it will run the update. Um, okay so now let's move to the back of the power supply. Um, so what you'll do after connecting the display port here we now will connect it on the power supply like so. You also have your power cable. This will plug in right here. Next we have our foot pedal and the foot pedal plugs into the foot pedal port here. And line the holes up and then you twist the dial here, the knob here, to tighten it into place. Um, next you have your stylus, your welding stylus. So this is also a quick connect. You have a white dot at the top of the stylus and a white dot at the top of the stylus connector. You want to make sure that those white dots line up and that is how you connect it. Back here you have your gas. Uh, when you're running your argon gas, this is your connector for the argon gas. So we supply the tubing for that as well. And you push that in and then if you give it a pull, you want to make sure that it is connected and doesn't come out. These here are for your tack welding. Um, as you read in the user manual and learn or watch our videos on tack welding, you have to plug a grounding clip in a positive and a negative port. And so when you're using the tack feature, that is these are the connectors that you use. So you plug one into the positive and one into the negative and then you perform your tack weld. If you are pulse arc welding or welding from the stylus here, 
um, you just have to use one grounding cable and that would go here in the Pulsar port. There's also one of these on the front of the power supply. You can use either one when you are Pulsar welding. All right, so we have everything turned around. Um, I wanna show you a cool feature with the arm, microscope arm, uh, for some cable management options. So first off, you have this uh, that was in your package of things as well, and this just clips on to uh, your mounting bracket, uh, your table mounting bracket. And what that does is it allows you to route your cables and, and have them so they're not dangling all over the place. So I'm going to pull out our display port first and show you real quickly how you can use the cable management system. And then we can run, we can take this off here. You push up and that will pop that off. And then you can line up the line up the holes and push back down. And then right here you just pull this out and drop it down. And then you can run the cable the rest of the way up through here. And they come out up here as well, so if you need to adjust there. And then back up into the screen. So here's your welding stylus. It goes through this section here. And then you can tighten it like this. And here are our eyepieces. And you just slide those on like this. You can adjust them how you need to. Uh, lastly, the machine comes with a cover so if you're in a dusty area you can use this cover to cover up the microscope or anywhere else on the machine that you want to cover. That concludes the setup for the Orion 200i. Thank you for watching and tune into our other videos about the interface and other features and benefits about the Orion 200i.